Good morning. It is Monday at about 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm up here in the Hyawintas, uh, just looking to do a little day hike and do some fishing. Uh, the lake I'm going to, you're supposed to be able to drive about half a mile to the lake. However, there's uh, trees blocking the road, so I've made it, or down trees blocking the road, anyways. And I've made it about as far as I can in my truck. So it's parked about 50 yards behind me. And I think it's hard to tell, um, but I should be less than a mile from the lake. And most of that's going to be on an old dirt road. So we'll see uh, what happens, but we're on our way. So in addition to the trees blocking the road, there's pretty large frozen mud holes. I have no idea how deep they are, but, uh, you know, I'm 10 miles, but I'm 10 miles off Mirror Lake Highway. Uh, there's nobody up here. Uh, nobody knows where I'm at. So, you know, if I were to get stuck in something like that, I'd be fine. I mean, I have to walk out of here, but it wouldn't be fun. So we're on foot. Oh. Ah, oh, here's another one. I uh, think I'm actually a lot closer. I think the hike is only uh, from where I parked my truck to the lake that I'm going to. Uh, after I just checked my map, it might even be only a half a mile hike. So maybe a mile total. Not bad at all. Pretty up here. Never been up here before. Really enjoying it. more giant obstructions in where the road used to go. All right, I've been hiking for about 15 minutes and I just left uh, what was left of the dirt road. I'm going just right on the other side of those trees right there, not too far from here. Last little stretch, uh, the lake is just right on the other side of that hill. It looks a little steep, but it's short. Wow, that last little bit where you gotta come up over the hill was rough. It was steep, rocky, and required a little bit of route finding. But it looks like I'm gonna be walking up on the lake now. Look at that amazing reflection. I am so psyched to be here, guys. Um, the lake is a lot lower than I thought it was gonna be, but there's still plenty of water to fish. I haven't seen any activity yet, but that doesn't mean anything. I've never been here before, so I don't know what to expect. Um, I know there are tiger trout and cutthroat in some of the other lakes around here. So I'm going to set my stuff down right here, have a snack, gear up. We're going to hit the water and just have a good couple of hours. I'm gonna leave my stuff uh, laid out on the rock right there. But uh, what's going on is my leader and my guides are both icing up, making it hard to cast. The sun's just kind of starting to creep up on the other side of the lake and uh, there is some fish activity. So I'm gonna move over into the sun and uh, at least hopefully get rid of the ice and uh, then we'll worry about catching a fish. Much warmer here in the sun. Feels much better. Strike one.
Yeah. All right, I just cleared the ice build up again, found a new spot, and here we go. Mr. Strike, we'll get back out there. It felt like a good fish. It was an aggressive hit. Look at my catch, guys. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> get that little guy back in the water. All right, time has come for me to pack up and go find somewhere to have lunch. Landed one fish, uh, probably said it earlier, it's about four inches long. Missed a whole bunch, 15, 20 strikes. Some of them really aggressive strikes, but that's fishing, had a good time, and uh, just really, really psyched to be out. So I'm gonna go find somewhere to have some lunch. spot I'm gonna heat up some lunch. Uh, I don't need much wood. I'm gonna do a little steak and eggs. So I don't need a, I don't need a lot of heat. Don't need a big fire. I'm gonna get this little bundle started and then I'll process just a couple small logs and uh, you know and that, that should be more than enough. I brought my axe and saw, but I don't even know if I'm going to need it. Nice little pond behind me to put this fire out with, so I don't leave a hot fire. I'm going to find a spot for the grill, just get it heating up. I suspect it'll take 10 or 15 minutes for this wood to, to burn down to a point where I can put some steak and eggs on a on the grill. That ought to do right there. I love that little pot slash cup that uh, goes on my canteen. Okay, here's a little preview. Uh, I've got a big steak right there that I'm gonna cook on the grill. I've got three eggs and a little stick of butter right there that I'm gonna cook in that pan next to the steaks. Really excited about using this little spatula from GSI that I've had for quite a while and I've never used it so outside of that I've got some Montreal steak seasoning and uh, some coffee that I'm gonna get going here any second after I eat I'm gonna get packed up and uh, get right down to the truck I'm probably maybe 20 minutes at most from my truck and then another hour or so from home Ooh, that water's almost to a boil 
Let me get that pulled off. All right. That's a lot of water in there. It's like a liter. Oh yeah, mix that around there all nice and good. That, ladies and gentlemen, is coffee. All right. I believe it's time to flip this thing, so let's take a look. Oh, perfect. Most of this butter is for the pan. It is non-stick and it does pretty good, but a little butter won't hurt anything. The other chunk of butter is gonna go right here on my steak. And uh, we'll pack out all of our garbage in the bag I brought the steak in on, including the eggshells. Get it going. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna scramble them up. I'll probably end up putting the steak in there when, when they're done. <laughs> I actually did bring my chair uh, for this reason so I could sit down and, and eat, but I'm just going to use the rock today and... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Perfect little sitting rock. Need a little coffee though. Not bad. Get into this. Wow. Mm. Delicious. It's a hot pan. I'll set it right there on the rock. Hopefully, I don't spill it.
one more. That's a safe fire. I'm gonna get packed up, I'll be on the trail and back to my truck in no time. Whew, made it back to my baby. Let me get this pack off. All right, made it back to my truck. Uh, it's about one o'clock, been up here for, uh, you know, I got up here early, I got up here about eight o'clock. So it's been a good, a good day, good afternoon. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to take a quick minute before I get in my truck and close this out and just say thank you. Over the weekend, um, I think my YouTube channel cleared the 300 subscriber mark, and I think that is so awesome. That's a huge milestone for me and something I'm proud of. And uh, I, I really just appreciate everybody who watches my channel, who subscribes to my channel, everybody who comments and all the engagement I get that way. And, uh, you know, most most, I guess, unique and uh, neat to me is the friendships I've made, all because of a YouTube channel. Um, really, really close friendships have been developed, and, uh, you know, I just wanted to say thank you guys. So, we'll see you soon. It's just an incredible view from the truck.